गुड मॉर्निंग कैन यू हियर मी थैंक्स अथर्व विल स्टार्ट द क्लास आई विल शेयर द स्क्रीन विथ यू पीपल just a moment yeah so in the previous class we have solved the numerical based on the you can say the turning circle radius first we wrote the equation for the turning circle radius for the inner wheel for outer wheel this these equations they can be derived from the trigonometric consideration uh you can draw the picture that either vehicle is taking left turn or right turn and subsequently you can derive these equations there is no great deal about it so from trigonometric consideration you can do it then uh, we have seen that there is one condition theta plus phi should be less than or equal to 70 degree this is a thumb rule for designing of the uh, steering system of the vehicle then we solved numerical based on that after those two numericals we discuss we started discussion on the power steering system and in the power steering system first we have seen that what is the need of the power steering system okay uh, so i i told you that the power steering system will not be always operating whereas it, <coughs> it will come into picture when the driver uh, driver's effort to steer the vehicle increases the predetermined value which is fixed by the designer then after that the power steering will come into picture and it will provide the assistance so the problem with the power steering pump is you you will face the problem um, in the fuel economy of the vehicle okay now the power steering system automatically provides hydraulic assistance to the turning effort supplied to manual steering system the system is designed to be operative when the steering exceeds the steering efforts it should be exceeds a predetermined value of efforts in the event of failure the driver can able to steer the vehicle manually and power steering system makes handling of vehicle easy all modern vehicles they are fitted with the power steering system so here i will just uh, uh, show you what are the different types of the power steering system but uh, we have to actually draw the power steering system the layout sketch of the power steering system so please please ignore this yeah now the the power steering system how it works uh, normally use an engine driven pump so this is basically the engine uh, driven pump this power steering pump is written so that is the engine driven pump and a hydraulic system to assist the steering action so basically the hydraulic system is used for assisting the steering action this is the reservoir this is reservoir uh, is for the pump uh, oil storage then the uh, three major types of power steering integral piston linkage system external power steering system rack and pinion kind of power steering system so integral piston and external power steering system a, these are the two systems which are the sub categories of the rack and pinion uh, integral rack and pinion system is the most common nowadays now you have got this as the you can say the body of the power steering uh, system just to uh, show you the assembly i'm just uh, Uh, shifting to the next slide but after that we will shift to the blackboard okay the power rack and pinion system 
so please read this slide when the rack and pinion is in a power steering system the rack has the slightly different design the rack is having the slightly different design this is the actual stage and this is the cut section part of the rack contains a cylinder with a piston in the middle the piston is connected to the rack there are two fluid ports one on either side of the piston supplying higher pressure fluid to one side of the piston forces uh, to one side of the piston forces the piston to move which in turn smooth the rack to provide the power assistance basically the rack is provided the assistance for steering of the vehicle and this is totally synchronized system so that is how the power steering pump works the pump will take the power from the uh, you can say engine okay now uh, we will first discuss the power steering system different types of power steering system draw the layout and after that we will discuss feed that means front end auxiliary drive system okay so uh, i am shifting to the new screen and we'll talk about now the power steering system actual layout and the things which we need to draw it by our own hand okay uh, so please understand that in industry when you work then uh, please uh, you are you are usually you wanted to express yourself in the form of sketches particularly so you might have uh, studied the uh, machine design have you studied the course on machine design sir machine design pe aapne course padha hua hai yes so there you might have practiced uh, drawing this uh, free hand sketches so similar kind of things they are very useful in the automobile engineering believe me that i worked with most of the uh, german consultant and uh, consultant from uk so one thing i observed is that the german uh, german consultant which are basically from the european uh, countries german and people from austria uh, they are very good in sketching and conveying their views whenever there is some discussion whenever there is some consultancy so i worked with the avl austria people and uh, i found that they have excellent skill of sketching that means whatever they wanted to convey in the form uh, so, uh, they wanted to convey technical things then they don't speak much rather they draw the sketch and then they explain you the things okay similarly the people from uk also uh, they are very good in sketching so yeah. at least we should learn these things so and now i will be drawing the power steering pump so power steering system the mainly if you see the mechanical power steering system which is using the uh, hydraulic pump it is classified into two types one is integral power steering and the other one is linkage type of power steering system so linkage type of power steering system okay so i will write down this as the short form pss this is widely used and here the power piston is built into the into the steering gearbox so i will draw the layout sketch of the integral power steering system here you are going to have the
cylinder so please be patient till the time i draw this sketch for you because i am not very good in sketching but i try my best to draw the sketch which you people should able to understand so this is the steering and there are hoses which are connected so you can see that this is the power steering pump here you can have the connections these are the hoses by the way what do you mean by hoses have you seen hose by any chance sir hoses aapne dekhe hai kya so this is the bell mechanism so this is your steering wheel this is the integral steering gear integral steering gear with control wall and power piston with control wall and power piston and these are the front wheels so this is the system and this is the power hose and this is the oil pump generally with oil reservoir and these are steering this is steering mechanism linkage all these they are steering mechanism linkages the oil the pump will provide the flow of the oil from one side and from the other port you can take out the oil and this is how based on the control system this with control wall you can control the flow of the oil to the rack and the uh, actual layout sketch i have shown sir uh, what you have said gardening pipe what was the question ha uh, yeah I, i have asked you what is the hose so sir hose gardening pipe is not the hose that is made up of the plastic whereas the hoses will have the stiff uh, structure in which you can have the uh, what you say you can have the metal wires which are embedded in so this is the integral power steering system now the second one which the second layout i will draw is linkage power steering system sir i will tell you regarding the hoses uh, once we finish the discussion on this power steering so what are the hoses what is the pipe what is the tube so in the meantime you can think so this is the pump this is connected to the
and will okay now there is one separate unit here to this unit the other things are connected So this is connected with the steering wheel okay now power steering pump is something separate please note that this cage is not the one which is actually used uh, whereas i am drawing the layout cage just to make you understand that this is basically you can see that the conceptual cage so just for the purpose of understanding and uh, here you have the separate power piston so you have got the power piston and this is connected to the power piston and this is mounted on a frame now you may have the linkage here there is a well now the output is connected to this power piston so you can see that this is the connection to this so it is manual steering gear so this is manual steering gear so this is control valve this is control wall this one is frame these are the wheels this particular thing is your power cylinder and from here you give the oil from here you this is oil pump with reservoir <clears throat> and these are the you can see that these are the hoses okay now please <clears throat> understand that this is power cylinder is taken out here in integral type of system this particular thing the integral steering gear with uh, control wall and the power steering uh, steering system that forms the one unit whereas each and every component the control wall is separated the power piston is also separated which are mounted on the frame so here you require more number of connection in the linkage power steering system okay and this requires less amount of uh, components so in 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 integ sorry in linkage power steering system the <coughs> uh, we'll write down the point in this in this type of in this type of steering power system is attached power system is attach between between the frame of the vehicle between the frame of vehicle and steering linkage and steering linkage 
these are usually usually factory fitted okay but please use this is also usually factory fitted would you like to convert the normal power steering system into the uh, sorry normal steering system into the <coughs> normal steering system into the power steering system would you like to convert it sir aapko acha lagega kya ki factory fitted hi acha lagega what what is your opinion but factory fitted ka drawback bhi main batata hu so what do you feel which one is better whether the factory fitted is better or the you can do it from the uh, dealer's aid or from the outside mechanic or workshop sir which one is good sir please answer yes no acha aapne yahan diya rahega factory fitted sir what is the drawback of the factory fitted uh, you can say system sir i can understand that you will not be in a mood to uh, sorry more cost and more time uh, sir cost is okay uh, madam cost is okay uh, time you, you you don't worry about the time because uh, uh, factory people they take care of it usually the factory fitted thing they come more uh, they cost more compared to the fitting which you done from the outside usually i think not always okay that is first thing but the issue is if you modify the vehicle on your own then you the, the major problem is first is if something happens to the vehicle then uh, there is nobody to take care of it okay uh, can you tell me see can you answer this question that suppose you buy the diesel vehicle the vehicle fitted with the diesel engine and on your own if you convert it into the gasoline engine that means you take out the diesel engine from the uh, system and you mount the petrol engine so what are the implications you see i am not asking techni techno commercial both then you will able to appreciate what i am trying to tell you Have you understood my question? कि आपने एक व्हीकल खरीदा जो डीजल व्हीकल है और कुछ दिन के बाद ऐसे आपको लगा कि डीजल व्हीकल इज नॉट सुटेबल इट इज नॉट डिलीवरिंग एज पर माई एक्सपेक्टेशन सो यू टेक आउट द इंजिन एंड देन यू फिट द पेट्रोल इंजिन सो वॉट आर द इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ डूइंग इट वेदर इट इज अलाउड sir uh, pl uh, please reply to it what is your opinion 12 pump system may fail okay it is not legal to make modifications to vehicle of a company in india okay okay sir what will happen how the people will come to know because once you buy the vehicle and then you change it from diesel to petrol so how people will come to know that satyacharan that is okay no but emissions see nobody uh, measures the emission for a running vehicle servicing would be a problem no because the people who change the engine they can uh, do the servicing of that vehicle there would not be any problem size of engine no you because when you are retrofitting it then you are not bothered about uh, you will always select the engine which is suitable for that vehicle. sir you think uh, i have given you the hint that you please think in techno commercial point of view if the engine fails the dealer would not replace it sir who is going to go to the dealer because you have replaced it on your own from the local garage so they are going to take care of it so please try to understand that first thing all the vehicle performance parameters they are mapped to the diesel engine okay so when you fit the petrol engine you may able to match those performance parameter but in the event of the accident 
the insurance people they are not going to give you a single rupee and that is why it is supposed to be an illegal thing of replacing the diesel engine by petrol engine or vice versa petrol engine by diesel engine unless and until it is permitted by the road transport officer it is an illegal act okay so please keep this thing in mind that whenever you do any modification in the vehicle you need to find out that whether it is legally permitted or not if it is legally permitted then take the permission from the road transport officer and then go for the replacement of it otherwise please don't do this kinds of thing because people used to uh, do these kinds of thing previously that means they used to buy the diesel engine and then they used to fit the uh, petrol engine on that so replacing engine is not allowed similarly the major modification in the engine they are also not allowed the re the reason is very very simple that if you fit the petrol engine you are going to change the design parameters of the vehicle and because of that if there is some mishandling of the vehicle or if there is some problem with the vehicle and the vehicle meets with an accident or there are some uh, explosive thing which happen in the vehicle then in that case company won't take any responsibility and since you modified or you tampered the original product so the insurance claim becomes null and void okay and that is why it is supposed to be an illegal act of replacing the engine uh, from uh, uh, or replacing the engine so for retrofitting also you have to take proper permission yeah and now coming to this particular power steering system which we were discussing i said that the factory fitted power steering system is the only option because it is legally permitted if you go for the outside fitting then it is going to be an illegal thing which you are doing to the vehicle that is not permitted on the similar lines also most of the people buy the non ac vehicle that that used to be the thing uh, some uh, few years back most of the people used to buy the non ac vehicle and then they get the vehicle converted into the ac vehicle so that is very very dangerous thing i will tell you in what way it is going to cause the problem when we will, when we will discuss the front end auxiliary drive uh, system okay now coming to the power steering system so these are the two power steering system only difference in these two power steering system is integral unit and the separated units the problem with the linkage power steering system uh, is that uh you got to have more number of components so uh, the uh, layouting of this becomes difficult because it is going to take a more space and already in the compact car the space is a major problem so most of the people they go for the integral power steering system is this okay shall we go to the next topic then i was uh, supposed to tell you regarding the hoses so basically hoses the they have the advantage that if they, they can have the orientation of three dimension with a specific coordinates that means if they are if you wanted to connect the uh, two ports let us say port 1 and port 2 and they are located their coordinate systems they are it is different then you can route the hoses and the hoses may stay in that particular position for a long time okay they are also having good strength and they can <coughs> sustain uh the hot environment which is prevailing in the engine compartment so that is why you will find that most of the time the hoses are used to handle the cooling water flow in the engine uh, rather than using pipes or tubes because pipes and tubes they get hot very early the major problem with the hoses is that if you use oil with the hoses then the life of the hoses will go down okay so that is the advantage that from fitment point of view you can have the permanent uh, solution for joining the uh, two ports where wherever you want it to transport the fluid okay so you will find that uh, the intake air filter is having hoses which is uh, the uh, air coming from the filter is allowed to pass through the hose and is allowed to uh, the other end of the hose is connected to the intake port of the <clears throat> intake manifold rather than port intake manifold and then the air goes to uh, required cylinder if you have multi cylinder okay uh, shall we shift to the next slide because next we are going to discuss electronic power steering system this is supposed to be the most pop popular power steering system nowadays so shall i go to the next uh, board 
do, uh, anybody is having any problem as far as this uh, discussion on the power steering system is concerned say power steering system is not that simple as what we have drawn we have drawn only the layout but the detail components if you see then it is very very complicated thing okay now <clears throat> there are companies which are only specializing in manufacturing the steering and developing the steering technology like you have the companies who only manufacture the uh, you can say gear boxes similarly there are companies so if you have heard the name of the zf uh, zf steering the nani steering system so they are the companies they supply the steering to different uh, um, vehicle manufacturers okay so steering itself is a very big technology now uh, shall we go to next page please say yes no what you want sir abhi electronic power steering system ka discussion karna hai sir so thanks uh, we'll go to the next uh, power steering system that is uh, electronic power steering system sir please note that all these steering systems power steering systems which we are discussing uh, in the event of the failure of the any power steering system the normal power the normal steering system should work that is the only bottom line from the safety point of view now electronic so electronic power steering system i will draw the layout of the electronic power steering system here <coughs> electronics means now you are can you tell what are the advantages of the electronic power steering system so this is the power steering wheel sorry this is the steering wheel here you have not the resistance then spring and damper kind of system and to this it is the torque sensor which is fitted here the, this total assembly the torque sensor then you have the steering column this is connected to another system so connected this is a representative figure just to make you understand that what are the different components of the power steering system electronic power steering system these are the wheels the wheel now you have got the connection which is going to the motor and there is a controller over here the controller will sense the torque and accordingly it will send the signals to the motor so there are two and fro system of sending the signals <coughs> and the motor will provide the or assist okay now it consists of a torque or converts steering torque input and its direction into voltage signal so <coughs> do sensor rehte hain consist of consist of two sensors by the way how many sensor are fitted in the modern vehicle the well equipped vehicle 
torque sensor <coughs> what it what it does converts steering torque steering torque input and its direction this is important both direction clockwise anti clockwise into voltage signal so <clears throat> the other is other sensor is sensor for detecting the uh, rotation so what it does the senses speed and <clears throat> direction of the rotation of steering and is located on the input shaft and is located on input shaft into voltage ठीक है तो ये गियर बॉक्स के इसमें बैठा रहता है सो इनपुट फ्रॉम द स्टीयरिंग सेंसर एंड व्हीकल स्पीड सो हाउ इट वर्क्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट डिब्बा इज इनपुट फ्रॉम स्टीयरिंग सेंसर and vehicle speed so this goes to the controller yani aap ye dono ka input lo then this is fed to the microprocessor so you people are much more conversant about this electronic part nowadays then what microprocessor does compares compare the signal with programmed map so what is programmed map can adjust the value of torque by itself according to requirement okay so how do you <coughs> how the microprocessor will come to know the you can say then control unit sir i will come to your question that's not it is not that simple then control unit supplies current supplies current to electric motor which pushes rack to the right or left let me write down this first and then i will explain you depending upon direction of current flow depending upon the direction of current so so this is the basic you can say the function of the then power assist is directly proportional to current sir now please try to understand uh, what whatever saurav kumar has said uh, he has said that it can adjust the value of torque by itself according to requirement absolutely correct it is 100% correct but it is how will you how the power steering will come to know that 
how much amount of the torque is required for taking for at particular speed with particular load and for a particular angle of turn so that is a big question so how do you do that here i have forgotten that you got to have the supply voltage as well for making it functional which comes from the battery ah, so sir how my question is how the controller will come to know or microprocessor will come to know that this is the torque which is required when the vehicle is moving at this particular speed and negotiating a turn which is not a sharp turn which is a slight turn so how do you do that how it will come to know sir there is one uh, word is there which i have shown in this particular block diagram so if you can pick up that word then you will understand it yes saurabh you are correct programmed map yeah absolutely correct so programmed map is the word which so how do you get this programmed map that's a big question now so this is the word which is important as far as what are these programmed map are they same for all the vehicle or it is going to change from vehicle to vehicle or what is your opinion exactly correct atharva but sir please let me know ki kya hai ye program going to change correct but what is this what are these programmed map see please try to understand this programmed map is basically the actual experimental result and the design input it is combined together to generate the data for iso efficiency or for iso efficiency uh, for iso performance point please try to understand this what is iso efficiency or iso performance point is that means how much sorry if you fix the efficiency that i want that the steering system should work at its maximum efficiency point so what are the optimum points for that particular efficiency at different speed and different <coughs> and the variation of different parameters of the system so first thing before generating that means first thing before designing this system you have to generate these kinds of programmed map by taking actual experimental readings in the lab okay then programmed it then you generate that this is the trajectory which i want that if the steering system is working at sorry the vehicle is moving at this particular speed with this much of motor assistance how much is motor assistance is needed at this particular speed and what is the point so that the complete system will try to converge at a point of the optimum parameter <coughs> that is basically these are the iso efficiency or iso performance parameter graphs and you will be surprised that such kind of data generation is a huge task actually we used to generate these kinds of data <coughs> when we when we wanted to uh see the performance of the vehicle for example we have got one vehicle let us say category a vehicle of manufacturer x okay now i am going to use the body of the vehicle of the same manufacturer i will only remove the engine and will try to fit the engine from the other manufacturer of the same vehicle category and will try to see that how the vehicle is performing whether it is performing good and bad so such kind of exercises they are being carried out in the research and development department so that you will come to know that how the how to generate this programmed map for different different kinds of combination so it's not a small thing and based on that then you program the microprocessor or your electronic programming system or the control system to <clears throat> arrive at the actual model nowadays you might have heard that there is lot of problem of the chip of the um, chips which are used in vehicle uh, systems and because of that the vehicle delivery got uh, delayed 
okay that that is the particular chip for which you have to do the programming you have to input the data and such kind of job is very very you can say specific and highly technical job so most of the experts are available and they are doing this kinds of job and that is why that is why nowadays the system has come that you just have to connect your laptop with the vehicle and you in a a uh, short uh, span of time you will come to know that which sensor parameters have been shifted or drifted or they are out of the range and you just have to replace them rather than repair them okay with the equivalent sensor or um, perfectly the same sensor okay now if you do that if you make a mistake in choosing the sensor or your sensor parameters they are drifted away from the actual optimum one then the vehicle is not going to function as per your expectation and the performance will be degraded so it is not good to give the vehicle for servicing to the roadside mechanic as far as <clears throat> i am not against the roadside garages but i am saying that if the problem is critically related to some systems where the sensor are used then it is better to give your vehicle to the dealership for the repair because they have got these kinds of softwares and they are in a position to repair the vehicle in a proper fashion okay so that is basically the keyword the programmed map how to develop this programmed map there is a special training for that if you join any industry and if you work in this particular area there is a lot of scope because very few people know that very few people are away they are having the background of mechanical engineering and they have got the background of the program it's not a simple programming which is used in most of the software companies rather it is a specialized technical program where you require to know the domain knowledge as well as the program knowledge okay so that is why most of the r&d people they have the team of these programmers and they carry out this work and then they give it to the foreign manufacturer previously when i was working in the industry at that time we used to get it programmed from the us and then used to <coughs> uh, you can say i <coughs> use that chip in the vehicle but nowadays i came to know that there is uh, most of the people got trained in this particular area okay so this is the uh, information regarding the power steering system though we are shifting from mechanical system to the electronic system but it is going to create new opportunities and please please remember that in mechanical system there used to be the repair of the system here now you don't have repair you have to replace suppose aapka computer mein ram agar kharab ho gaya what you do you only simply change the ram you don't do anything okay you, you and then the ram you take out from your uh, computer or from your uh, control unit you are just putting it into the dustbin okay so now uh, there are some features which uh, i will write down for the electronic power steering system this is the power steering system which is used in almost all the vehicles which are flying on the road uh, <clears throat> so first time uh, as far as i recall the wagon r which was launched previously uh, 10 15 years back 15 years back then at that time that vehicle used to have the electronic power steering system and i remember that we disassembled that vehicle in the r&d to just see that how the electronic power steering system work so that was the thing when <coughs> i joined as a company as a trainee engineer and i was very shocked that the company people they bought the brand new uh, wagon r vehicle to the company premises and the very next day after pula and everything they started dismiss, uh, dismantling that vehicle just to study power system most of the people were studying electronic system most of the people were seeing that which kind of engine how it is fitted and all those things so most of the automotive industries or automotive manufacturer they have got the vehicle library and in that vehicle library they keep lot many vehicles which have got some different different features and then they study and then they try to implement good features in their own vehicle therefore uh, the most of the people who are working in the automotive industry they know that what their competitor is doing okay so they also try to implement the same thing that is why in advertisement you will find that ye vehicle mein ye hai jo comparison aap 
इसमें YouTube में देखते हो दैट इज डिफरेंट बट एक्चुअली आर एंड डी कंपेरिजन इज सेपरेट विच इज लिमिटेड टू दंपनी दे डोंट डिस्कलोज एक्चुअली ओके नाउ द फीचर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पावर स्टेरिंग सिस्टम इज इट इज अल्फ डायग्नोजिंग सिस्टम is a self diagnosing system because you got uh, as i told you that you just have the software so you connect it to the vehicle and you will come to know now in case of a problem the control unit so this is very important so in case of a problem that means if there is some uh, malfunctioning of the power steering system the control unit turns off the control unit turns off the entire system actuating actuating a fail safe relay in the power unit the system reverts back the system reverts back to manual steering and warning light on the dashboard and alerts the driver so this is becomes the सेफ्टी फीचर ओके मानो किसी कारणवश अगर व्हीकल सिस्टम पावर स्टेयरिंग सिस्टम का प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है सो इन दैट केस इट रिवर्स बैक टू इट्स ओरिजिनल सिस्टम ओके सो दिस इज द डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द पावर स्टेयरिंग सिस्टम सो नाउ ओवर फ्रॉम माय साइड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क सर डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन if no questions will stop here please wait acha uh, sir maine aapke uh, sorry apne group pe automobile engineering ka theory and uh, lab ka registration ka list bheja hai i requested everybody to find that their name is there so that there should not be any problem of registration as far as these two courses are concerned so everybody is comfortable with it i have not received any feedback so i assume that everybody's name who are attending the classes is mentioned in the list if anybody is any uh, is having any problem please uh, please tell me there are 70 students registered and 70 names are there only one additional student will be there in the lab i don't know whether he has registered or not baki sab logon ka theek hai agar koi difficulty hai to aap mujhe group pe bataiyega okay so over from my side you can leave the meeting if you do not have any question